Yeah, a lot of... Um... There's, there are two spaceships I saw right away. And it's all around Orion constellation, which um, I saw before when you were talking, there's just like you participated in that Orion war. Um, the war of the uh, to save this universe. To uh, fight off the invaders. You know, you look like. Um, you have this. Um, it th those are like on your on your body. There is a suit. The suit is um, it's almost like an AI technology suit because it has the air circulating in it. It has the weapons like it hands with weaponry that it it just like goes out of your from underneath your sleeve. Um, there's like two uh, kind of stick looking things and I see the orange coming like plasma weapon. You also have some of the technology which kind of looks like a little short sticks and then from sticks goes like zapping something it's like a zapping wave it looks like electricity electric wave mm, bright blue like electric blue color but what i see is the you're trying to negotiate here's a round chip it's composed of different sections you can see on top it's not perfectly round you can see sections those is it's reptilian and they look black they're like black skinned they're very dark it's almost like very dark green but looks black and they look more like the giant T-Rex but I know they're reptilian race and they basically uh, all over the place they're trying to what they're trying to do they're trying to create some greed around the sun to to stop uh, the um, the sun 100% sun activity to stop it because something about it which which creates a perfect balance of protection for their solar system that we're in and they want to to prevent that from happening which and that's when the the war that particular fight you were in is that fight uh happening you're in a def different spaceships your spaceship is more like he has four four long um it's like a cylinder, but was a was the angled end, and the four of them two uh, on top of each other, like you know one, two, three, four, like that, and they're all connected through the um, tunnel system. But from above, it it looks it looks different. Star line ship, star line twenty three. That's the name of it. And the other one is, I'm trying to get the name, but it's something dark. Either. It's almost like the um, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's something related. It's one of the names of the. It's either dark crystal or dark something. Um, and there is a huge crew. It's over three hundred members. You all come from. You know, it's that. It's like Lyra Pleiades. 
are united in this fight. Arcturians are providing this um, technological support so they feel that they're more into technology and I feel like you are an Arcturian but you know how technology works because I see how you chalk on their suits and you yourself wearing a suit so you're like technical support or something you also know how the engines are run on the spacecraft but you also participate in combat because the way you go it's like a specific there's something about the um, spatial geometry that you call it it has to be a certain way all the um, fleet of the spacecrafts yes you have to form the kind of i see them spinning like this and i see them forming a circle out of nine spaceships and oh they're 12 so three 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 and three and they're kind of like by three and then they spin and then they get together and they get apart together and apart i don't know what it is but it creates some electromagnetic field that disorients the enemy's um radar system control um navigation system something like this because your ships by themselves disrupt the electromagnetic field and uh, they blend more into space with space in that way they also activate some cloaking because sometimes i see it's like i don't see you when you get around them quickly i don't see you and you're trying to damage or shoot into the weapons with their with your laser lasers look like red arrays uh they're trying to damage and make they're making holes in this in the crafts the holes are kind of interesting they're just like softly made and i see you landing at orion right at the like this bottom star it's a, and above that star there's a platform and it's like a fight platform and you what when you get on it it's connected to the surface of it but it's kind of like it blends in and it forms like a layer over the star and it's kind of layered and layered but you get to the layer according to your vibration and that's because i see you physical i see you all physical so it's like um 3d and there is a orion group there and I see a lot of rows of fighters with different kind of outfits. They mostly got like metal plates over. And I can hardly see a lot of them are cyborgs. But those who control are not cyborgs. They are, I feel like connected to, they, they connected to some consciousness. And humanoid or human type consciousness that they're using for uh, navigation and figuring out things mapping out but then i see the planet you actually kind of you, you like park your ships there at that suspended level and then you get onto the planet and the planet looks like it's got like mud all over some sticky surface and i see you literally like fighting with them and shooting and i see above your heads there is the um the spaceships also fighting and shooting so there's a lot of it's it's kind of interesting how it goes it's like almost like little lights of fireworks everywhere but they're yellow, orange, and red. 
and you have a partner and that partner is I see, I see you more like um I see you more like a female energy and you're tougher there's something about female energy that is tougher and more um moves faster um, slicker or um, figures out things quicker more more analytical in your particular race uh in arcturian race and your partner is um He's she's smaller than you and he feels like more like male energy. But I see like they get it's like they have a huge hole in his stomach where the solar plexus down to the stomach. And it's almost like as if um they're shooting something strange. It looks like hot metal, like a uh, mercury being shot and it it's 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 glowing when it's going. As if somebody melted metal and started shooting it. And that's what burns through his body, through his equipment, everything. And I see you taking him to your spaceship. You know, you have the suit, you can fly. I understand how you did it. So you parked it above the star, but then there's something that it's a self-propelled suit and this propulsion there's something free energy whatever it is it propels you up and you take him on this spacecraft and spacecraft has like a big it's like a hospital bed but it's like a lab and then in this hospital bed they you and others lift him up and put him in this it looks like a chamber like a round like MRI kind of looking thingy, but it's transparent on the sides. It, it has blue stripes, which you can see through, and on top it's white, and at the bottom it's white. And I see that from blue panels, there's just blue lights goes through his body, and I see it's being transparent. And what they do, it's like as if they were um pushing the cells inside but i think it's like um self replicator like um they stimulate the replication process which which is like triple speed almost and i see like the um the body's regrowing itself where the hole is and um there is one thing that built into the suit he has like an imprint of the original body of the um, body parts of the vibration of each body parts frequency and according to those parameters it shows on this it, they also have it in the database in this lab and it just like makes it all regrow not how to explain it looks like unbelievable like this part of the inside inside doesn't look the same I I don't see like I don't see stomach is is in digestive system not the same it's tiny but it regrows and it's like stretched out it's more like horizontal rather than vertical it's not round it's more like that like a thin tube and just regrows everything inside and then I see it and it stops glowing and he's ready to come out it looks like it happened real fast how they uh, reactivated his body and stimulated his own regeneration process which which it did and he comes like he sits up and he lifts his he was still in this helmet when they put him in there he lifts up his helmet he looks at you and he telepathically says thank you and i think that's that's your friend that's your friend and that's you and uh 
you're saying I returned a favor, which I think you had another fight when he saved your life or something like this. And um, next thing is you're standing in front of your commander. Z Z Zaluk, that's how it sounds. Was a C at the end. And he said we need to form a group. We have to follow the and infiltrate certain areas on Earth to outsmart the uh, enemy. But he has to be done from inside, from inside, and it's going to be hard because acting outside is is much better, but doesn't have as much influence when you actually incarnated in the body. And that was before they even manipulated the DNA of humans. But you knew that you were going to this particular timeline, and this is your second life here. To, to help elevate a lot of misconceptions and also to you're very determined, like you came to because you wanted to redo the whole system. The system is wrong. And you're also saying that you've seen how they block the sun. You've seen how they drag the moon. You actually call the moon the egg. And how they put the egg at that spot. So we're also blocked from the other parts of the universe that had a great effect. And also moon blocked the stargate leading to the um, to Earth and from Earth. It has multiple purposes there. But you actually agreed to come. It was your decision. But you also knew that you had to sign the uh, the contract uh, the contract to it's it's like there are gatekeepers here, and the gatekeepers here are reptilians of this planet. They are under other alien races, but they are the ones who are keeping an eye and in charge, they consider themselves in charge basically of humans. And you had to sign something. I see you drop, you had like a little tiny a glass container with you. And it fills, filled, filled up with liquid gold and you had to drop a drop of that gold onto the paper. And the contract said that the physical body would make you forget what what you're doing at this moment and the other incarnations. And that who you are. And also with signing that, there's going to be certain programs you agree to. Because it is like um artificially created game of virtual reality that you're entering at this point. But for you, it was the only way to save your own constellation, your own star, and help others. Because that's what happens to universes. Sometimes they get taken over. But there's a certain point in time when in the timeline where you can you can make an impact and a difference. And and what what you do normally you pull on to yourself all your consciousness parts incarnated in different avatars on different constellations or systems and pull it onto yourself into this physical body to be 
to have the knowledge not to forget. And I see when you were entering this level, it looks like it looks like a big portal, like a tunnel, but it's it's vertical. And you're just zooming through it. I see the outline of your body from there. Your body is very tall, very lean, thin, long arms and legs. And you keep telling yourself in your in your mind, I refuse to forget. I refuse to forget. I must remember. And your partner does the same. And that's how you're going to end up. So the first, the first life, your husband and wife in some Indian village, because I see some elephants walking around. Uh, there's this muddy road, rain, puddles. And you're giving the elephants the uh, water from some buckets, but they, they made out the f um, like wood or some material, not metal. And you, you're a healer there. You're just, first of all, you design the, um, the huts that your village lives in. And you put them in specific in specific spot. You, I see you how you basically design it and tell the people that we have to rebuild rebuild the huts in a different way because there's some energy points that would make you healthier if you live there. If you position your it's not even a bed. It's like um, they put like lots of um, soft, dried up grass or uh, herbs. But you had to position it the correct way and you made them not square. You made them round huts and you use some clay, natural red clay mixed with dry, looks like grass but different, more like tropical grass, wavy, with leaves. And um, just taught them about energies and how they affect you. And you, you would just feel, you also dealt with some uh, rocks. You would carry the rocks in your pocket. And then like from your, you would put five rocks on the palm of your hand and you would stop when you felt you had to stop to measure up the energies of this particular spot. And the rocks would like move, like literally form a circle and move in your hand, in your palm, into either plus to the right position or minus to the left. And this way you know that there was a good spot to for a woman to give birth to a baby for instance or to cook food in a in a fire for the your whole village when you would get together and talk about things you also carried some some information that you remembered about the stars and the universe how it is and also different universes some of them are square some of them are triangle and some of they are certain color uh, there's golden there's silver there's blue pink red different depends on the frequency and it's like different worlds um, there's world of rocks there's world of uh, air there's world of water and you can experience any world you want to absorb at a soul level, whatever energy you resonate with the most. And that way you can connect to the energies of that particular. Um, it's, it's like um, it's like a point of structure, concentration of energy, a little dot that creates a certain area of the universe that you can connect to and study and absorb it to feel it better. 
the world of animals, you would live there and get experience to feel the animals better, to learn how to talk to them telepathically. To through that you would have like high compassion and understanding of the function and things like that. Uh, so you were talking about all this, but you were putting it in our fairy tales. It's like a storytelling, but you would say that the stories came from the stars and you're connected to the stars. And your partner was your wife in this life. And I see you have three boys. They're really little. They're like five, four, and a little, little six months and something like this. And you 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 knew about the numbers, what 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 they correspond to, what vibration, how you can use the energy of numbers to build up a non-physical or rather physical manifestation. Mm. And then There's a strange thing going on. Like I see you sitting by the fire around you. There are others. And it's almost like people, those people, villagers, they ask you, they're curious about the different like spirits. And they call they want you to call in the spirit of fire to to look at that spirit. And that spirit actually shows up. I see it's almost like, it's almost funny, but it kind of looks like the Santa Claus to me. It's got the same kind of outfit, it's in red. And I see that Mars is connected to, I mean, that fire and that Santa is connected to Mars and Saturn portal that connects both planets together. Um, it's just like automatic, like they wanted, they thought all together in a big group, which looks like maybe 30 people. And they called on this fire spirit who is also in control of the frequencies of the earth and siphons energy and is like a spirit slash portal and energy conductor to Saturn and Mars from humans. And I see I see this one person in the village. I think he is implanted and he's got the uh, implant like a rod running on his back to his head. And that's definitely there's a cord connecting to that. Um, Santa Claus this is what I want to say. I mean, it looks exactly the same. And you see energies. You tell him that, you explain to him what it is, and he says, no, it gives me power. And your, your thing is like you absorb, you absorb, because you felt mm, frustrated with him because you couldn't explain uh, your point of view and how that being affects him, that being also got attached to you. And so you got attached to your wife and from your wife to your children. And that's exactly why I see it's almost like a circle of fire, like somebody drew a fire with uh, a, a, like a um, circle around you, your energy sphere. And I feel like it's, it's fire element which for you, you feel like it's protecting you. But the truth is like you don't really see how it's affecting you and who's behind it. 
because that somebody is right above your hand outside of your energy sphere is like a puppeteer of multiple puppets and trying to sway you into the wrong direction and it's like as if you were imagine a puppeteer puts the those crisscross wooden sticks in the right and you are forcefully trying trying to push to the left and um, a friend of yours is your wife so he is connected to that and that is a demonic creature because I see 666 and I, I see this weird thing so Santa Claus head is changing into that uh, goat devilish thing uh, like a demon with this star of David David or whatever it's called on the chest um looks pretty horrifying this thing but um I feel like that's where the um the Saturn had much influence and it was helping the beings, the demonic beings, take control of humans, take control of, and distort their stories that they would carry from generation to generation to keep up the truthful history going. And that that was the time when they started distorting things. Because you mostly carried history of the universe, but then you wanted to all also combine and base it on what's going on and how Earth is affected. And I hear the word punished, like because you are re rebellious, you know what you do? You basically, you are, uh, during the life, you figured out the system you would figure out whom you want to be in the next life. In that first life, you figured out that you wanted to be born here. And you pick the family by frequency of, of frequency of you coming out of that body at that point uh, of that life before this incarnation because it has to be a smooth transition. And you actually died in the rather low vibration because um, you were doing some, some things. It's almost like, I don't know what it is. It's just like drinking herbs and you start seeing more and more of the 4D world and creatures and beings. And you saw more and more of them throughout your life. And I see you're being 82 and you were terrified that the earth is overtaken by demonic beings. And you see more and more people with, with their backs attached to some demon or somebody who is siphoning their energy and creating something bad in life. Um, so you just, you, 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 you come out of your body from your chest and pretty, it was pretty kind of sad feeling. And you, the reason why you were born in this family is because it's like feeling of being hopeless and also being like you didn't accomplish what you came here to do and at the same time you don't know how to accomplish it because you slightly you not 100 remember what you actually came to do so in it's it's like that and then your wife followed you into this life and that's your current friend that you're trying to help because that's the only um, soul that is close to you, the closest um, in this lives, in what you've gone through together and how you help each other um, in combat and everything. 
that just keeps your you know it's almost like you have a feeling of you owe to each other and you owe to each other but then you helped each other but then you got like uh so connected with each other um it's, it's just want to say like a brother and sister <laughs> because the energy is uh di different um you got the same connection to that demonic goat being he's sarc sarcastically saying why did you come here it's my throne my and i see you know what i see i see um palazzo di san pietro and i see <laughs> the throne of the goats thingy was that uh, five star in his on his chest and on his where the third eye area is and he's sitting right underneath the throne of the Pope it's just so crazy right underneath and he's wearing this red boots and I see like um I see like that I don't even know the, who is the Pope these days but his 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 skin is like burned up like he's black but burned up mean burned up like on fire or something it's been and but he's he's wearing red boots under this long uh rope whatever it's called and and the, the 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 demon who is in, is con in control of the church system those beings are they basically like hoping to take over completely take over to hybridize themselves to be able to maybe look more like humans or being able to completely walk and be inside the human body uh hold the frequency and be inside like that so through dna manipulation they're hoping in the future they'll be able to do that but what, what comes from this burn, burned up priest it's like i also see um that the Rome, I mean, it's like it's a collapsing, like the the dome collapsed, and all the statues are like going ding 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 ding, like domino effect, like this this plaza right in front. I was there. I I just like see it right now, and I see pigeons flying away, and people are scared, like it's a bad sign and they're still waiting for the priest to come out for the papa to come out on the balcony but he's not because it's like right now it just there's nothing inside basically that, that's the metaphor i think your subconscious is telling me there's nothing inside it's 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 burned up the whole system is is gone just what we see is the remains of it it's a program that has to run to the end. Um, there's underground secret chambers also that they have to clear up. There's different layers they have to reach. There's a, I'm like looking, I see it like literally like this. And then I see there's this one level it's like an underground river. It's like very streamlined underground river. It's, it's as if it was, you know how fast they go, like from the, like a waterfall goes from the mountains, kind of like this. And on this water, there's underground, it, it's like a built round ch chambers or um, <laughs> gas tanks, like where they carry gas, you know, like the cars carry it, like kind of huge. And there's like hundreds of children inside you have to take them out 
The problem is it's hard to get to there through the water. They, they, it's physically hard because it's physical. It's not energetic, but they're gonna do it. There's a tunnel system. They didn't take over the the whole tunnel and system. Yeah, there's there's a lot of it. I see thirty percent is seventy. That's what I see. We have to do more. So you um standing, holding your hand, his hand. And you're just pushing. You have some strange system in your energy sphere. There's just like different little dots or spots um, at the bottom, on the sides, everywhere. It's almost like they're trying to do something that particular um, entity that also represents the Santa Claus because he wants to siphon more energy to be powerful to control the world through the religion that's why this big Christmas thing because it's actually the, the goat being the devil um, and he's the one who's trying to control the most powerful souls who came here to infiltrate and to spread the truth to open it up it's like opening up a book little by little and writing in stages and letting it out so the energy of that information would cover the other information and then if person is ready he would reach the layer of that information because it has to be in the field um it's almost like pulling the um universal um information into this false metallic matrix uh down here that actually is designed to push the truth out or to mix the truth with the untruth, to make people fight with each other, who brings the right information, who is wrong, who is right, and all this stupid stuff that people always fight uh, against each other about. And you're just like wanted to create that. It's like a layer, it's like a giant layer over people's heads. And you can just like, connect to it through, through telepathically through touch in different ways just like whatever you make it it will be your way uh, there's a lot of there's thousands of souls like that hundreds of thousands who came here to do just that the thing is that layer is thickening and that layer is causing cracks in the other layer underneath and at some point these cracks are gonna are, are gonna have there's a, gonna be big chunks falling out on people's heads this is all metaphors so, so it's like he has to be kind of like subconscious shows to you through me and then when it hits the people it's like the real realization hits and and that's the moment when you're almost going kind of a little crazy because you feel like wait a minute so i've been lied to like that that's that's kind of the moment um but it's building up it's building it's crescendo right now it's like um Christian and CM like like we're growing together up 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 and then it's just gonna hit the, the, everybody basically but people who know they're just gonna oh that's that's our information for them it's gonna be like a cleansing shower 
of like, oh, happy moment. For others, it's going to be not so happy moment. But they won't be able to be in denial anymore. Why am I talking about this? Uh, anyway, it's from your subconscious. So, um, you're you just you just decided to create this huge vacuum machine and cleanse the whole thing. What I actually saw in your energy sphere, I saw it's almost like mold growing, but they're trying to target you through that. It's really not mold, it's like dust of AI technology. And it's, um, they, t they use it a lot to target people, as I understand, but in your case, it was like you would push it out with your energies and it would stay at the surface. So all you need to do is to just clean, cleanse the surface of your energy sphere. Um, it would make you totally invisible to the um to the system then when you cleanse it. I'm just kind of creating a turbo machine with a big attachment, like a vacuum thing, and and it just like you're going in circles and it absorbs everything. And your partner from that spaceship, from that battle does the same. And then I see, I see some layer like level above Earth level. When you asked about the contract, there are two oak trees, and in between there is like a hammock, but there's um, golden chains with the um, it's like a treasure chest of some sort, and there's a lot of rocks in there. And each rock is like a life of a person who came here voluntarily to create a change. I think it's like a contract thing. Uh, they're different colors. They're kind of like, it reminds me of fairy tales with treasure chest or like different color stones. Some of them, I didn't even know how the color is called because it's not from here. And you pick your own, you pick your blue one, and your partner takes the same. But then you do this, and it covers it like was the blanket of rainbow, kind of glowing. And I think it's the information that you gave to those contracts because people who are on Earth are connected to the contract, so because they see like a spider web going somewhere to the world, you kind of gave them information that they can take to the same. And I see you holding this rock. It's 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 long to the sides, but it's round as a bead with different sides. And you start holding it and spinning it. And when you're spinning it, it opens like a portal. And like a window almost. The window that you can see the universe through. And you, I can see like a plasma kind of glow around the sun. I think there's um there um they uh their um how's it called it kind of comes to me like um plasma shield or whatever they used to have before or the energetic fence that used to obstruct the waves of the natural sun uh is gone and now they're preserving the sun from influence of uh, the uh, uh, those are tall whites trying to do something with the sun because now they're gonna they they are kind of restructuring they're trying to give the power to the black hole I mean to black sun it looks like a huge giant portal so we would if it grow in energy we can overpower the original sun 
but they're not going to succeed. But that's what I'm trying to do. And that's why us in from other lives and different planets created this plasma shield over sun to shield it from any influence like that through technology and waves. And, and you just push there. <laughs> you push this uh, horny guy out that the devil kind of being out in the portal together, disconnect, both disconnected from. And you turned, you turned those crystals into rain of cleansing and you put it above your heads and it rained over you. And I just, I see it dissipating it's like fog, but it's being spread out and it's it's getting clean like clean water. Blue color. Your your own body is actually to me looks like fluent water. His is more solidified and he's shorter, he's smaller. You're like real big and tall. You're probably like seven, maybe seven and a half feet tall, energy body. Um, you're saying that you've been living for 70,000 years in different incarnations, tried different star systems for fun. You like creating. Um, you like creating out of consciousness. And consciousness is everything. It powers every creation. Without it, creation is going to self-destroy at some point. And everybody knows it. And, and that's what they know, too. Unless they grab the souls, unless they manage to get enough souls to sustain. So you both are clean. I see some dots in your DNA strands. You see number 16. And you're just getting the dots out. The dots, it was some strange technology. It's almost like arrows shot at you when you would astro travel. And you would go back to check what is going on with your, with other planetary systems. Or you would mostly go to arc tour to check on things and whether they figured out what to do next and what is their strategy planning and what equipment they're going to use things like that i see them all very much like human looking beings but they have this like very large almond shaped eyes and bluish skin but other than that, they're acting like they have families, they have children. They act the same like humans. Except it's like if they're united by idea, they're all united by one idea. They don't have a split like we experience here on Earth. In, like if we have to defend our planet and our evolution, spiritual evolution, we'll do it all together. Um, so they're united in that one, makes them very powerful that way. Um, the, um, the Draco Empire is going to cease to exist soon. That's what your subconscious saying. They lost their power. The power is now in Nordic groups. Nordic groups still have hooks onto some nations where they still have their DNAs. And those people have the contracts with them. 
and that's what's holding them there. If everybody like deleted the contract, they would be gone. Mm. But they will be taken care of. But first, we, we, we really have to get to the bottom um, levels of the Earth. There's a lot of lot more levels than people think. And we have to dismantle the grid, the artificial grid system, which is not only astral and physical at the surface, but also deep, deep under the surface. So there's quite a lot of work to do, but there's going to be a revolution happening soon. It's going to be a spiritual revolution. I'm about to see you clean right now. And I see you in those suits like I saw you on the spaceship. It's um, it's an interesting sign also that you you have on your suit. It's like a novel with the A, but it goes like this, and it has stars in it, and stars in this one in the middle. But yeah, I think you said that it signifies a Milky Way galaxy. That you came as as parts, as particles of it. And then you were able to pick where you wanted to incarnate. But you're coming back, you're done. So... Yeah, you ch you you change that that decision also, just just to guarantee that you are actually coming back, like you never you never went here. It's almost as if imagine you came back to your planet, you're fine, you're safe, but right now, as if your um, hologram holographic image of you or your double was in this life. It's just like an analogy, I guess, but the truth is you are just, you're no longer blocked and at this level. It's what your subconscious is wanting to tell you. But your friend, he has to get rid of a lot of substances, a lot of, mm, Change his thoughts. The thoughts, this his thoughts bring some disincarnated people towards him, who periodically live in his body and leave his body, deplete him of energy, or make him sick. Um, some of them sometimes live in his head, and he changes his uh, way of thinking. He changes his personality. He doesn't know what he's doing because they also cause his addictions. They put thoughts in his mind. They want him to do certain things so they can re-experience what they used to experience when they were in physical bodies. He has to restructure all this. Otherwise, it just wouldn't work for him. But yeah, it's done. You can ask questions if you want. How does he restructure his thought patterns? He pushed, I saw him pushing out because you were standing there, you were pointing. Like, lo look at all these people. Look as one sitting as your right leg. Look at the other one is sitting on the left side of your brain and controlling you. He had a lot of disincarnated, so it was like a group of people he pushed into the portal as I was. Because uh, I'm more connected to your subconscious, and he's kind of like being talked alone in a way. Um, because I can't focus on both at the same time. But uh, he has to change his physical ways to support the change. 
because I feel like because he has been um, he, ha he he has not he has never had really a very clean view on things because he's been always distracted and misguided in these directions and this um it's like a walking portal of entities basically that's who he was so he forgot who he is how he feels inside where's his connection to his own self is you know like that's a way to, when you lose your intuition your connection your trust in yourself and things like that you fail at that because others are taking over your body but he has to support it. He has to understand. Mm, he can't. He has to take responsibility. For his own life on himself. Nobody's going to just help him. He has to help himself first. Otherwise somebody will use his weaknesses. And you know. His doubts. To get back at him. To reconnect. So, yeah, I don't know if you have any any more questions or I'm not really. really. I know what it is. I saw the spaceship of those. It's, it's a strange name black reptilians dark astra it's a s t r a i just saw like it clearly i wonder what it means <sighs> yeah so if you want i can turn off the recording here <laughs> 